Today I'm going to be unboxing this Chic Sparrow package I received, which I'm very excited about. This is my first order from Chic Sparrow. This paper is so pretty. Over the past couple weeks, I have gone down the rabbit hole of watching YouTube videos of people unboxing Chic Sparrow beautiful journal covers. And in one of those videos, I was fortunate enough to see that there was a 50% off sale happening that week. And so I decided to make an order. I bought three different um, covers. Oh, that is so cute. That's adorable. I love teacups, so that's perfect. And uh, I thought I'd unbox them and make a little video. So this is the one that comes with the E-Class, the pen holder. And um, that was one of the ones that I got, obviously. Because it is a little bit more expensive, I didn't know whether I would actually pay the price for it regularly, and I thought it would be a good time to try it out. I got two different sizes. I got two A6s and one B6 Slim. Now, I'm so excited to see these. <clears throat> this one. Oh, that's beautiful. This is the A6 Claire. And it's the deluxe one. Oh, it feels so good. Oh, it smells so good. Um, I didn't ask for anything in particular with these. I like this, I don't know what that is, if it's like a scarf that was on the cow or something. It looks so good, and I know they said it has pull-up, which is really nice. Oh, I'm so excited. So this is the first one I got. I don't really have much to compare it to because I've never owned a leather journal cover or traveler's notebook of any kind, but I am very impressed. I am so excited to use this. So the other A6 that I got is the E-Class, and I got it in the leather Eastwood. <gasps> And I know this one has the different pockets. Sorry, I keep, I'm like looking to the side of the camera, not through the camera if everything gets off centered. I love, I love this. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. Now I don't know if this one has pull up or not. I don't, maybe a little bit, if you can see that there. But it definitely feels sturdier than the Claire one. The Claire one's more flexible. I love the spine on these E-class ones. It makes me feel like, I don't know, it's like an enchanted notebook or something. <laughs> that sounds silly. And this is where you can add, I don't know where I put the, there we go. You can either put the pen loop on the cover itself or make like a little insert to put it on or put it in a notebook. I'll open this in a little bit. But yeah, so these are the two A6s. I got them both in brown. This one is a little longer it almost seems, but I guess that could be because this the spine has to fatten up on this one whereas the spine is already you know, the set width on this that it'll pretty much be. So when it fattens up as you put stuff in it, it's pretty much the same size. And this one has the pen loop already on it. Oh, those are both gorgeous. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> okay, and then this last one is a little bit of a different color. And I got this one in the B6 Slim, even though I didn't have any notebooks in B6 Slim at the time that I got it, but it seemed like a fun size and I wanted to try it out. Oh... My gosh. So this is the, I'm sorry, Mockingbird Nightingale. 
And this is the only one that I specifically asked. Um, I know I had read, oh my gosh, look at all this speckling. It is gorgeous. Um, this is the only one that I had specifically asked for it to be a true gray, if possible, that I had read some people saying that they their shades were a little greener, and that was cool, they liked that, but I didn't really want a greenish shade. I wanted it to be a true gray. This reminds me of like a robin's egg or something. Is that is that right? I think that I think that's right. Like that bird egg that has the little speckling. I think it's a robin's egg. I'll have to look it up. But it has so much more character than I thought it would. It's got little marks and little speckles. And I don't know if that was just like part of the cow. Or, I mean, I guess it must be. Oh my gosh, I love that. And that's such a good size too. So I'll show you. Let's see, this is the three of them. All together. Mm, and I love them. Oh my gosh, I love them. I'm so happy I made this purchase. So right now I have my Hobonichi Weeks for 2020 in this cover that was from last year's Hobonichi um, colors. And let's try and put this in one of them. My plan is to have my weeks, not weeks, I'm so sorry, daily, my A6 daily in one of these. And then I don't have it yet, but I want to get, oh, that's not my Hobonichi, hold on. Sorry, I lied. That's my Enigma notebook. It was supposed to be my brand new journal for the start of 2020, but I was too excited. So I started using it already the last couple days, but that's this one. And it's the Tomo River, I don't know how to say that, paper. So I'm going to put that in one along with this little, little one in one, those together. And then the other one I plan on either putting my weeks, because I do have this for 2020, or putting them all together. Let's see. Let's see what fits. And then I plan on getting an A6, um, the five-year Hobonichi. That's what I was thinking. Um, not sure. Uh, I don't know how exactly I should do this. I've never done this before. I think you just put it through. And there you go. And then... So this one may be more centered. Just put it through one or two. Let's put it through. Let's do. Maybe like this. And then. I don't know. That works. This is a little thin, I feel like, to go on a string. I might just. That might fit good in. Hmm. I think as the leather kind of gives a little bit, that'll fit perfect in there. If not, I can kind of open it up. Maybe. Ooh. So both of them do fit very well in one, both of those books. I don't like the way this is here, though. I'm going to have to figure out what to do with this. I do know that I want it easily accessible. I just don't know. I will figure this out. Maybe I should figure it out off camera some other time. But yeah, that fits all of them very well. Really chunks it up a bit. I don't know if you can see that. And then probably putting my five year in this. Uh, over here. Right now I only have this A6, so I did buy an A6 size to go in this. A, 
sorry, B6 Slim. Oh my gosh. Um, after I bought the cover, I knew I needed a book. And then I have another one I'm going to be ordering. Sorry, this is long-winded. I just wanted to show them with books in them. No books in them. Feels nice. They all do have a slightly different feel to them. I'd say this one's probably like the smoothest feeling. And then the Claire and then the uh, Eastwood. It just feels a little different, a little more not rough, just like rustic or something. Anyways, there they are. That's my unboxing video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys are thinking about buying any of these, I hope it helped kind of seeing them in a video. Can't get over this. Anyways, thanks for watching.